Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to contour the mature face using powder contouring after your foundation. Now, last Friday I put out a video showing you how to use a cream contour on mature skin. So the response to that one was so great that I asked you guys if you wanted to see a powder contour. And of course, everybody was like, yes, we want to see a powder contour. So normally when you put on your foundation in the morning, it flattens out your features and it makes your face, face look kind of one dimensional. So what people tend to do anyway is go back in with some bronzer and some blush and maybe a little bit of highlighter and that really is contouring at its essence. So you can do this with bronzer, you can do it with blush, you can do it with highlighter, you can do it with your setting powder. What I'm gonna do it with today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I have the light to medium, and this is their powder contour kit. So this contains six different contour powders. Uh, five of them are matte. There's a yellowy one, there's a pinky one. Those would be for your highlights. And they're not as light as I would like them to be. They're, they're very much going to give you a very subtle highlight. And then down on the bottom row, it has three contour shades. And what I recommend that you do is that you swatch them on your skin. The two to the side are very, very warm and reddish. And the one in the middle is probably the one that I'm going to use to do most of my contouring because this is more of a neutral shade for me. So that's a good way to figure out the color that you're going to need. All right, then for the tools to apply it, I'm going to use the Beauty Junkies five-piece contouring and highlighting kit. This contains everything that you need to do this. It has a blending sponge and it also has four brushes. The other brush that I'm using with this is another Beauty Junkies brush that I found was just perfect for doing this. It is from their mini line and this is their mini angled brush. So this you can purchase separately. These are all available on Amazon. I'll put the links to everything in the video uh, down below. So the main thing to remember when contouring and highlighting is that you really need to understand your individual face and where you need to place the contours and highlights to really bring out the best in your individual features. And I'll touch on some of that in the video. So let's get started with the tutorial. The primer I'm going to use today is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And for the foundation, I'm going to be using my Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I'm also going to be going to be using Lancome Waterproof Under Eye Concealer. So I'm going to do this part off camera and then I'll be back to start the contouring. But since this kit doesn't have a white color to it, I'm going to go ahead and use a different product to set my under eyes. And that is going to be the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. And um, by the way, this is the uh, QVC TSV today, or it's in the kit. Use that to set the concealer under my eyes and to lighten up the under eye area. So again, I'm trying to hug the dark side of the eye bag with most of the powder to lighten that up. And then I'm just gonna use whatever's left on the brush and just press that into my under eye concealer to set it and kind of lighten up and smooth that area. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So staying to the dark side of the eye bag. So for the rest of it, I'm gonna use the Beauty Junkies Mini Angled Brush. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this pink color and I'm gonna start by contouring places that Older people tend to have darkness and shadows caused by uh, wrinkles or sagging skin. The center of the chin. On the forehead. And of course down the center of the nose. So as you can see that's very very subtle. These powders are I used this because a lot of people said, yes, I own the Anastasia contour kit and I wanna see it. So that's why I'm using this. Um, I'm not sure that this has quite the lightest color that you need, but you do want it to be subtle. So I think it's okay. And then the last place that we're gonna put on a contour would be right here at the tops of the cheekbones. So for that, I'm gonna to switch to a bigger brush. This is the Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter Brush. When people are younger, they tend to put darkness in their temples. Uh, once you get older, people tend to lose fat in the temples, and so it can look uh, more depressed there. And so for older people, I recommend that you actually do the opposite, which would be to highlight in there. So the yellow really is much more of a highlighter. So now I'm going to mix the yellow and the pink, and that's going to highlight that area and bring the temples out. And then I'm going to bring it around 
in a C shape at the top of my cheekbone. Okay. And then just do a little round dot right on the front of the cheeks. Okay, so see how that's already bringing some life back into it? And then I'm just going to do a little more of the yellow. Brighten that up right in there. And yes, it's true, it is getting a little powdery looking. Have no fear. There's a solution to the overpowdered face. So that's it for the highlighting. Now let's go ahead with the contour. I'm going to use the small detailer brush because I want to start small with my contour and then make them larger if need be. So the first place everyone likes to start is right here to carve out the cheekbones. So the way to do that is rather than do the fishy face because you don't want to be going around making extra lip wrinkles. Um, so I basically put the brush where my ear meets my head right there at the top of my jawbone and then just lay it there kind of aiming towards your mouth and just roll it around to find your cheekbone. Okay, so right there is where my cheekbone is. When I do that just take a little bit and mark that spot almost going to draw like a dotted line just to mark where your actual cheekbone is. All right, so then mine goes right up in there. So that's probably as far out as I will come with it. And then you just fill that in. So I take an imaginary line from the corner of my eye down to the corner of my mouth, and I don't want my contour to come in any farther than that. On me, I don't need to draw this part on, but it depends on your face shape. You have to do whatever's best for your face shape. So if you want to draw the whole thing on, I would just be sure to keep it high enough in here. Okay? And don't bring it all the way in here so that you're making that look deeper. I'm going to get rid of this one, actually. So to get rid of a mistake that you've made, you can pretty much take like a flat kabuki brush and just blend that away. So now that we have the basic line made, we're going to switch from the tiny brush to the Pro Highlighter brush. I'm just going to roll that in. And I'm just going to go over that and kind of thicken it up a little bit. Back by the ear. But I kind of want it to come out to a little point, so I'm not going to bring this all the way out to the point. And in order to keep this subtle, it's best to work in layers, nice sheer layers. You can kind of blend this out a little bit with some circular motions. All right, for the forehead, I'm going to use the mini angled brush again and the same color. Okay, I'm going to start at the hairline in the center. And I just kind of follow my hairline. In the cream contour tutorial, I made more of a heart shape. Today I'm going to go with more of a diamond shape just to show you that there are other shape options that you can do from the center out to the outer corner of the brow and then of course going up here because you want to stay out of the temple. So the diamond you just have to make sure that you kind of start in the center of your forehead and just angle it down to the outer corner of the brow and then going back up there. Getting scared yet? <laughs> All right, so next let's go ahead and do the jawline. So in my case, my sag is like right here. So that's where you want to come up a little bit higher. To make that look straight. And then you go back underneath. And then the last step is the nose, Pro Detailer Brush. So if you want, you can start right up here. Now this is something that you don't want to rush. You want to be patient and go slow. And now to just blend it all out, I'm going to use the Pro Sculptor Brush from the kit. And you basically just want to do the small circular motions until you get this all nice and blended out. Blend those down. For the center of the nose, so I'm going to go with a combo of the matte yellow and the highlight color. 
I'm just going to take that, I'm going to use the brush like this sideways it's just to basically do the tiniest bit of just punching up that straight line that we just created and up between the brows. So before we do the highlight we need to add some blush. For this I'm going to use NYX Baked Blush in Wanderlust. Today I'm going to use the Duo Fiber Brush from the kit. And with my blush I start at the back. I never start at the apple of the cheek because I feel like that is just a problem area for me. So I start back here. Just work that on in nice circular motions and ending at the front of the cheek. And then blend it down into that contour. Now that blush does have a little shimmer in it, but we can add more from the kit. This is a really pretty highlight. It's like a nice champagne pink, so I'm going to use that same duo fiber brush and just pick up a little bit of that highlight. And I'm going to run that at the very tops of my cheekbones. So you want to start high up with this. So angle it down onto your cheek. And just put it right at the top of your cheekbone. And if you want, you can bring it up a little bit into the temple just to help that pop out a little bit more. So you're making that outer V shape again. This is really pretty to use if you want to do it underneath your eyebrows. The other place is above your eyebrows. We'll just blend that out a little bit. And so just to get this to set and where we have a lot of powder on our face now in order to not look powdery, what I recommend is, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> The one that I love the best, which is the e.l.f. Mist and Set. I'm going to go ahead and use this to just set it, so pardon me while I give myself a spritz. And I find that this last step really helps your powdery makeup to look much, much less powdery. If you really want it to look non-powdery and you think it still looks powdery, you can take a blending sponge. This is the one from the Beauty Junkies kit. Spray it with Mist and Set, and then use that to just press particularly the furry parts of your face. <laughs> and we're done. All right, so that was the tutorial. Not too hard and not too cakey looking either with those last steps at the end to help it last longer and not look like an aging mask of makeup. So I really feel like this helps to make your basic foundation, which does tend to look flat, to look more lively, to bring more dimension to your face, and to help correct the things that are bugging us as our face ages. So everybody, that's the video for today. I hope you found the tutorial helpful and informative. If you did and you'd like to see more more, feel free to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button below the video and you can also give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. So I, as always I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and take care everybody. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.